Hello everyone and welcome back to another Jimming with your crispy video. Today we have another brand new knife from Maxis called the Kestrel. Now before we start, as always, if you don't have it already, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you want to see more videos like this from, in the, from us in the future and share this video with your friends and family. Also, if you find yourself frequently coming back to the channel or you want to see notifications for when new videos drop upon our channel, why not consider subscribing? With that aside, let's go and get straight into today's review. This is the box the Max Ace Kestrel comes in. We have a nice gray, white, blue, and black box. The Max Ace logo in black here. And the same thing on the back. Inside the box, we have the cover art uh, little thing that goes on top and protects the knife from falling out. We have a white Max Ace cleaning cloth. Then we have the Kestrel knife itself. Take it out of the protective bag here. This is a very cool knife. There are currently 14 different other variants of the Max Ace Kestrel. There are 14, get that, 14 different variants. So if you don't like the variant that you see in this video, there will be 13 different variants you can choose from. All 14 variants will be available on our website as of this video's release. The handle of this knife is made from aluminum and G10 with a red and white color scheme and a small lanyard hole on the bottom. The handle of this knife is very big, so you won't have any problems getting a good grip upon the knife's handle. On the back, there is a gray and slash black pocket clip, so you can wear the knife in your pocket or on your jeans, shorts, or belt. The pocket clip is sadly not reversible. If you look closely at the inside of the handle, you can see that this knife has a frame lock mechanism, so you close the knife by pushing the frame lock to the left, disengaging the lock, and then you push the blade back inside of the handle. Moving on to the blade of the knife, the blade is made from magna cut steel and has a drop point style to it. There's also no thumb studs on the blade, but there is a front flipper so you can still open it with one hand. However, I'm not very good at that. There's also a very decent amount of jimping near the back of the blade as well. The blade has a satin finish with a flat grind, and if you look closely at the left side of the blade, you can see the Max Ace logo imprinted on the blade. Lastly, let's go over the links and specifications of the Max Ace Kestrel. The red and white aluminum and G10 handle is 4.65 inches long. The magnet cut steel blade is 3.62 inches long. The overall length of the Max Ace Kestrel is 8.27 inches long. The overall weight of the Kestrel is 3.88 ounces. And that's about it for today's review. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there are currently 14 different variants to choose from on our website. All 14 variants, including this variant right here of the Kestrel, will be available on our website as of this video's release, ranging from $123.95 to $331.20. If you all have enjoyed today's review, please consider leaving a like on the video if you want to see more videos like this from the future and share this video with your friends and family. Also, if you want to receive notifications for when reviews like this drop on our channel, why not consider subscribing? Thank you all for watching the video, and I hope all of you have a great rest of your day.